Hello and welcome back to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and we are here at day eight of the Country Balls League. We do have an important announcement. Russia will be temporarily suspended from competitions due to the political happenings in Russia and Ukraine. We did hold a poll on the community posts of this channel and the popular opinion was to suspend Russia from the competition so they have been replaced with Switzerland for this competition. We're sorry for the inconvenience uh, and we will return Russia after the political unrest has subsided. Now let's get on with the tournament. Here is the bracket system for today's event. First off we have Senegal versus Cameroon. And we are off into the first blue funnel. This is also our first look at this new track. We have Senegal in first place going into the tan funnel. Into the next tan funnel as well. Two marbles, one from each team for this event. And we have three funnels to begin with, then a small green slalom. With really only one place where you can get stuck up into the staircase for Senegal. Cameroon quite a, f a bit far behind. And then we have a little S section here into the next brown funnel for Senegal. And they're trying to get out before Cameroon can catch up, but they aren't able to. Senegal puts a hit there, and they take the lead into the next staircase for them. And now Senegal has some catching up to do. Here goes Cameroon into funnel number three. And we have two more funnels after that. Senegal. Now trying to catch up here. Will they be able to make a hit on uh, Cameroon? No. Cameroon gets out of there quick into funnel number two. Looks like they're going to be able to get into funnel number one, too. But here comes Cameroon and a quick pass by them. And now they're in the final funnel. And after this, they're going to have to make a choice. Here comes Cameroon. Senegal, they're neck and neck. Cameroon comes out first, takes the right path. And they'll get two points. The right path is the one you want to do because which lane you finish will be the amount of points you are awarded. So... Senegal will be getting two points. Cameroon only one. So Senegal will be the winner of that match. Two points to their overall standings. Next up, we have Philippines versus Korea. Two very decorated marbles. Very pretty. So we go into funnel number seven. Who will come out first? And it is the Philippines just by a little bit. Here comes Korea, though, right behind. They're neck and neck in funnel number six. Korea overtakes for the lead into funnel number five. Here comes the Philippines right back, though. Let's see if they can take it here. Yes, they do into the first green labyrinth, which is more of a snake section. Really, only this last little half pipe element is the only really labyrinth part of that. And the Philippines come out on top. Korea only one step behind to so go into this next snake type section. And it is the Philippines into the brown funnel number four. Neck and neck here. Korea overtakes the lead there. And Philippines coming up right behind them. One step uh, behind once again into this next green. Uh, I guess you can call it a U-turn. And into funnel number three they go. They're neck and neck right next to each other as we go into the second funnel. And the first funnel now is the uh, Korea in the lead. Philippines are falling behind and they're running out of time. But really, it's about the choice they're going to make here at this next section. There goes the Philippines and they get a three. And here comes Korea. They only get a one. And three is the max amount of points you can get in this event. The Philippines did it early. So good job to them. Philippines with three points will be the winner of this match. Next up, we have Canada versus Argentina. And they are off into funnel number seven. And Argentina is able to come out to the lead first. Canada still stuck in funnel number seven. There they go into funnel number six, but they aren't able to make any contacts on Argentina, who's now in funnel number five. And here comes Canada right back. Let's see if they can make any contacts. Yes, they do, and just enough to pass Argentina into this next green section up the stairs for Canada. Argentina is actually having a hard time getting out of that green section. Quite a few stairs behind Canada. Into the S-snake section for Canada. 
into this next funnel, funnel number six, uh, let's see, the number four. And Argentina coming up close behind now, and they give it a little hit there. And they're able to take the lead, but they're on the same stair, and Canada takes it right back on the staircase. Good for them as we go into the U-turn. Around the U-turn, a little bit slow into this next little Y section. They're neck and neck in funnel number three. Who will take it first? It's Argentina into funnel number two. Can Canada take it back? They may be able to. Will they do it? Neck and neck. It's almost like a dance as they go into funnel number one. It's Canada who comes out first. Argentina close behind. They're drafting. They're drafting. Let's see if they can come out first. And no, it will be Canada. Canada takes the right side. And two points for them and zero points for Argentina. Unfortunate for them. And I think that Y isn't random. I think whichever marble gets there first will automatically get the right side. And then if you last, then you'll get the left side, which of course only gives you one or zero points. Next up, we have Switzerland versus Japan. Switzerland comes out first out of funnel number seven into funnel number six. They go. Can Japan come out with the lead? Yes, they do into funnel number five. Let's see what Switzerland can do in response. A big hit by them. But uh, Japan is able to actually use that momentum to get out of the funnel first. Who will come out first here? It is Switzerland. And here comes Japan. Can they overtake? No. Up the staircase, one stair behind Switzerland. Into the next S section, which really isn't really possible to pass. It's all about that speed and you have to maintain it through that entire long section which really doesn't have any uh, uh, incline. We go into the next staircase. It's Japan still in the lead. Switzerland close behind those. We go into the U-turn. It is Japan who comes out into this Y section into funnel number three. Can Switzerland do anything in response? Yes, they do and they take the lead into funnel number two. Let's see what Japan can do here. And a good hit by them into funnel number one. Who can come out of this funnel first and get the right side? And two or three points guaranteed. They're circling so close. It will be Switzerland who comes out first. And they get two points. And, and Japan, unfortunately, will only get one. So 2-1 match. Switzerland will win this one and get two points to their name on the overall standings. Next up, we have Belgium versus Pakistan. And they are off into fall number seven. Slowly making their way into fall number six. It's Pakistan first and Belgium barely getting out there. I wonder the blue funnel is a different shape than the orange or the brown funnels. And I wonder if it's possible for Marvel to get stalled in the blue funnel. Not sure. Maybe one day we will find that out, but at this point, I don't think they can get stuck. It's Pakistan in the lead into the next staircase. Belgium quite a bit behind. Let's see what Pakistan can do in these next little S sections. They maintain their speed quite well. And into fall number four. Here comes Belgium, though. K catch up, and they give a quite a bit of momentum to Pakistan, but actually, they're still able to get out first. As we go into the next staircase, two steps. Uh, separate Belgium from Pakistan. Do the U-turn for Pakistan up into the next funnel. It's Belgium who comes out into lead in that little Y section. And now they're racing for the next funnel. It is Pakistan who takes the lead back into funnel number two and now into funnel number one. Looks like they're going to be getting two or three points unless somehow Belgium can come up from behind. And there goes Pakistan. Two points for them. Let's see if Belgium can even get one. No. Zero points for Belgium, so two points for Pakistan. They'll be the winner of that match and get two points for the overall standings. Next up, we have Spain versus England, two countries from the continent of Europe. And they are off. Spain gets into the blue funnel first, but now they're neck and neck. And it looks like England may be able to get out here first. And they are able to, but not by much. Spain close behind. And now they're racing for the line in funnel number six into funnel number five for Spain. Here comes England right back. Can they make any hits? No. And Spain is back into the green section up into the staircase for them. And England quite a ways behind. 
They may even be an entire staircase behind Spain. Yeah, whole staircase behind Spain. Spain out into funnel number four. I'm trying to get out of that funnel before England can catch up. So that would be optimal because then England would have nothing to lose their speed on. If up the staircase for Spain, England still stuck in funnel number four into the U-turn for Spain, up into almost funnel number three. And England now just getting up to the top of the second staircase through the U-turn for them. Can Spain get out of this next funnel? Yes, they do. England a funnel behind Spain. Spain almost two funnels now. There they go into funnel number one. And I think they're gonna be getting the better side unless somehow England can catch up at the last moment, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Spain comes up with a two. Let's see what England can do. The best they can do is two, so they don't get to win the match. I'm sorry, they, the best they can do is one. So they still get one point for the overall standings, but they can't win over Spain. Next up, we have the USA versus India. And they are off into funnel number seven. It's the USA in the lead in terms of the spiral action. Let's see what India can do though. Really, whoever is the slowest through these funnels will become the fastest because that's who will exit first. They both are pretty neck and neck still in the funnel number six. There goes the USA into number, uh, funnel number uh, five. India coming up close behind though. Can they make a contact? No. USA coming up into the next Y section up the stairs for the USA. India needs to make up some ground if they want to be able to even pass the USA and get those two or three points. Through the snakes section for the USA into full number four. Here comes India. They may be able to make a contact here. Yes, they do. And the USA gains a quite a bit of speed from India, which actually helps them because now they get to be in the lead up into the staircase for them. India through the U-turn into the next Y and into funnel number three. Actually got stuck. The USA overtakes there. And now India has to catch up once again, but they looks like they are able to there. And now in the funnel number two, here comes the USA and a quick move by them. And now they're both run the same speed, but the USA is in one funnel ahead of India and they get the first move and two points for the USA, India, Either zero or one. Let's see what they can do. And one point for India. Better than a zero, but still no win. USA with two will be the winner of this match. Next up, we have Germany versus Mexico. And they are off into call number seven. And Germany comes out first. Mexico now coming into funnel number six as well. They're neck and neck. And Germany exits first once again. Here comes Mexico though. A hard hit there. Let's we'll see what Mexico can do. They still aren't able to pass. Germany comes out to the lead there, but here comes Mexico and a quick move through the Y up into the next staircase. And it is what two steps that separate Mexico from Germany. And that's not very much, especially when you get into this next funnel. That's only like two rotations before Germany can get there. And let's see if they can make a contact. So close, millimeters. They aren't able to make contact, but they are able to exit first. Mexico now back in the back of the uh, pack, I guess, if there's only two marbles. And it is Germany who comes into the next Y into funnel number three. But let's see if Mexico can do anything there. Funnel number three, they're neck and neck. Germany, or Mexico takes the lead, and there goes Mexico into funnel number one. Germany is running out of time. And Mexico will get the first picks to the points, two points for them. Let's see what Germany can do. One or zero points. Mexico is already the winner of this match. At this point, it's all for those overall standings, and zero points for Germany. Mexico, the winner of this match. Next up, we have Vietnam versus Brazil. And we have only had one marble get the three points, and that was the Philippines. Can Vietnam or Brazil take that as well? Circling around funnel number seven, the blue funnel. 
the infamous slow funnel and it is Vietnam who comes out first but Brazil close behind into funnel number six Vietnam still able to hold the lead into funnel number five here comes Brazil though and they put quite a bit of pressure on uh, Vietnam there into the green slalom for both of them and Brazil comes out on top one step ahead of Vietnam into the S section for Brazil now Vietnam very close together here comes Vietnam can they make a hit uh, no Brazil is doing a very good job at dodging any contacts and they're able to get out first into the next staircase here comes Vietnam close behind can they do anything in these last three funnels Round the U-turn for Vietnam and they are able to take the lead through the Y there and a big mistake by Brazil into funnel number three they take it right back though and here comes Vietnam and they really want these first picks and there goes Brazil into the last funnel can Vietnam come and take the lead they may be able to they're following and circling and they are able to get there first can they get the three no they get a two points Brazil will they get a one yes they will but Vietnam will get the two points not a three and we only have one more match to match the Philippines perfect three score Indonesia versus Portugal are up next and they are off into the first blue funnel funnel number seven who will come out first and it will be Portugal looked like they're both going at the same time but Portugal actually got there a split second faster which pushed Indonesia uh, out of the way and that caused them to be in the lead. But here comes Indonesia and they take the lead back as we go into funnel number five into the first staircase. Portugal two steps behind Indonesia. Up into the snake, uh, the snake section for Indonesia. And let's see if they can get out of this funnel quick enough before Portugal can do anything about it. No, there was a little contact there, but it didn't seem to do anything. But that one definitely did something. Portugal taking the lead from Indonesia there. And now almost the entire staircase before Indonesia gets even there. Portugal in that Y going into funnel number three. Will they get stuck? No. Here comes Indonesia as well. We'll see what they can do. They put a hard hit on Portugal there. Neck and neck into the circle. Indonesia takes the lead. Portugal coming now as well. And they're in funnel number two. Can they make it into funnel number one first? It will be Indonesia. Let's see if Portugal can make any contacts in this last funnel. They don't look like they're going to be able to, but they are there. And now they're neck and neck on this final funnel. Who will come out first? It's Portugal who gets the first chance at a three. But no, it'll only be a two. And Indonesia gets a one. Two, one. Portugal, Indonesia once again. And Portugal will be the winner of this match. And only one marble got the full three points. The Philippines. So congratulations to the Philippines. They're officially the winner of this event. And now let's see the overall standings. It's the USA, Switzerland, and Mexico, as well as the Vietnam in the lead, tied for first place, 16 points each. But USA is in first place because of their total tie-breaking score over on the right side of the chart. It's Argentina in fifth place with 15 points, but Korea and Brazil are tied as well. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and stay tuned for the next installment of the Country Balls League here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. Until next time, this has been Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.